Hey everybody, it's Final Film Productions back with another uh, Marvel video and today we talk about the ongoing interest and uh, the worrying about uh, what's happening with the uh, Netflix, Netflix uh, Marvel shows that are uh, moving now to Disney+. Plus. Um, we have news that uh, the past week or two that uh, Disney Plus in America and I believe it's happening the same in uh, uh, Disney Plus in Europe and different places uh, the Punisher, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, um, Iron Fist, etc., are all going uh, now from Netflix to Disney Plus uh, with parental guidance uh, controls on them uh, because these are obviously much more violent shows. What I wanted to talk about though is what what will happen to these shows going forward and uh, questioning whether uh, the MCU are going to ruin these characters and ruin these shows and if they're turned into films, ruin, ruin those films too by watering down and changing these characters. Um, you know, keeping the same actors but changing some of the fundamental things that people love about the shows. Daredevil is the main thing to talk about at the moment because it's it's uh, the, the only character that has uh, the only character, the only show that's had characters appear in the MCU movies and in the uh, MCU shows on Disney Plus, we've had uh, Charlie Cox show up as Matt Murdock in Spider-Man: No Way Home. We've had um, Vincent D'Onofrio appear in uh, Hawkeye, and I think the the Matt Murdock appearance uh, wasn't that objectionable. Uh, he showed up as a uh, lawyer to Peter Parker and it was you know him catching the uh, I believe it was a rock was it thrown through the window was a little bit a little bit goofy but not uh, not too egregious um, the, the Kingpin's appearance uh, in the the Hawkeye show was a completely different story though um, he shows up he seems quite like his uh, original self from the Netflix shows uh, but then we get a fight scene between him and uh, a fight between him and Kate Bishop, played by Haley Seinfeld. Uh, and it, 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 of course, he's an he would overpower uh, most people because he's uh, kingpin and he had lots of fight scenes in the Netflix show. But those fight scenes were all realistic uh, when he fought with Daredevil, when he fought with, fought with Punisher. Um, his strength was evident with his stature and everything uh, but it was never goofy or over the top or cartoony um, but unfortunately in, in the Hawk, in the MCU Hawk, Hawkeye show uh, he gets gets shot with an arrow in the chest um, he just breaks the arrow doesn't hurt him uh, this is all uh, comic related stuff um, this is all stuff that uh, you know that his character was like this in the comics but that doesn't give an excuse that they've brought over this actor. Uh, the goodwill the people had for that show, having Vincent D'Onofrio back, and then they completely uh, throw his character. Uh, they completely throw off the character's uh, continuity, even if they don't don't intend for everything to be continued over from those Netflix shows to make a departure like this when there was no real need for it uh it's pretty lame in my opinion you know he's he, he gets blown up uh and he seems to have very little damage afterwards he gets shot at the end of the show and apparently he's not dead so he can get shot and still survive um the whole thing is the whole thing is quite depressing to be honest with you i mean it, it's not uh, surprising um you know this the mcu to me i mean i know it's a very popular uh it's a very popular franchise. The whole thing, all the movies, all the sh you know, the, all the TV shows, people mostly love most of the stuff that they release. But I unfortunately am not one of them. I've went off a lot of their stuff recently. I didn't like the Last Avengers movie. Not really impressed by the Spider-Man movie, except for No Way Home, which I did actually enjoy. Uh, I haven't liked One Division. I haven't liked. Uh, some of the Ant-Man films, the last Thor film wasn't up to my, wasn't to my liking, you know, th this is all personal opinions, but I found that they've gotten extremely uh, goofy, a little bit too reliant on bad humor, and now, you know, that's fine for those characters, and, you know, 
it is what it is. That people seem to like that stuff. But people like the Netflix shows. People like the raw, gritty, violent aspect of those shows. The darkness of those shows. Uh, and it seems now that Kingpin uh, has been neutered and watered down for the MCU. Uh, we have Charlie Cox now doing interviews. And these interviews are... These interviews are interesting because it it seems evident that he would have had conversations if he was told if he was told he was coming back as Matt Murdock. You you've got to feel he's had meetings uh, and had conversations with uh, the likes of Kevin Feige and people of that type of, of people of that level. Uh, and he's asked the questions that most fans would want to ask: Is this this the same Daredevil? Is it going to be? Are we going to allow it to be violent? You know, John Bernthal uh, did an interview in the last year or so and, and said that he would only come back if they did the character right. This being the Punisher, uh, but Charlie Cox has done interviews and uh, he he has suggested that if 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 um, if Daredevil was made PG thirteen. Uh, this is what his quote is. Charlie Cox says, I wouldn't put it past the folks at Marvel to be able to accomplish that. Uh, I'm such a fan of everything they've done so far. I wouldn't, I wouldn't underestimate them at all. So if they wanted to make a more PG version of Daredevil, Daredevil I back them to find a way to do it where it feels to- total, totally in keeping with everything we've done on the show. And maybe there's a little less blood. Maybe there's a little whatever. But I back them to do that. Um... It absolutely can work, but I guess what you can't deny is Daredevil is never going to work as well in the PG world as Spider-Man does. So this is an interesting thing because it's it seems like he's trying to preface or maybe prepare people that this is we are not going to get the balls to wall, uh, no restrictions Daredevil that we got before, um, which is bullshit in my opinion. No other way to say it, you know. If if if, if you say they've got, if you if you say that they've got, uh, you know, restrictions based on their app not allowing violent stuff, they've just they're about to or uh, already have. I don't know the date of when the stuff's coming from Netflix, but they're putting the Punisher, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, all those shows on their app. They're putting the parental guidance uh, or, or parental uh, lock on it. Uh, for you to stop your own kids watching it, which is fine, which is great. Um, but if they can do that, why then does the new material that they create have to be PG-13? Now, there's no confirmation that it will be PG-13. But if you look at Blade, uh, it's been confirmed, I believe, that it's going to not be rated R. It's going to be PG-13. Now, Blade is a vi- is a violent vampire uh, sh- uh, comic, uh, you know, if you've seen the three movies and people love the first two, uh, at least, uh, those were violent, very, uh, very, very mature films, and now we're getting a PG-13 MCU movie, we have now, uh, Kingpin being neutered down and turned into a kind of a over-the-top kind of cartoon, invincible character, which doesn't fit with what people love about the Netflix show, no matter if it's a comic, uh, uh, accurate or not um, and we have the Punisher who is another interesting situation the Punisher uh, was not included in the, the the trailer to showcase these uh, characters coming over to Disney Plus you know and <laughs> there's no getting away from it the Punisher is after Daredevil Punisher is the most popular of all those characters I mean I know people like Jessica Jones and Luke Cage etc but there's no denying that the Punisher and his uh, all his history is really well known and popular and they've kept him out of the trailer for the uh, uh, for social media that was put out I don't know if there's been any more trailers but that is very telling that they're trying to uh, hide the Punisher Will the Punisher ever see the light of day again in new material and new movies? There's big question marks about that uh, because if you follow the Punisher, you know that the Punisher skull has become a controversial thing. So I get the impression that the people at MCU are just too too afraid of doing these characters right. I'm afraid that uh, they're going to neuter these characters, and I'm afraid, unfortunately, that a lot of people are just going to accept it because. You know, I'm sure there'll be a lot of MCU fans on here, and I was one of them at one point. 
and still am in, in certain in certain movies. Um, but there were people that will back a MCU uh, Daredevil that's PG-13. There'll be people that'll back a PG-13 Punisher. People will back the PG-13 Blade. And, you know, it doesn't mean that those shows are going to be dreadful in and of themselves. Because people will say, oh, well, you can make those shows PG-13. They can work. The question is, why the F would you? That's the whole thing. If you concede at this point, and if you let them make these shows neuter down to fit in with their PG-13 uh, marketing or their PG-13 image, uh, you've just accepted the fate. You've accepted that you're not going to get the true essence of these characters. Uh, and if people do that and they're happy with that, fine. But I certainly will not be watching a PG-13 Punisher or Daredevil. And I love those two characters, but you just, you know, people complain about fan culture, about, um, you know, you know, fan bases being toxic and all that type of stuff. But there is a certain point that fans should speak up and fight for these characters. I always remember Thomas Jane talking about um, the treatment of Frank Castle and the Punisher in his movie. And, you know, that's a movie that gets hit from a lot of people. I personally love it, um, but he talked about not changing the character, not watering the character down, and he says, you've got this great character, and his words were, why F with it, you know, why mess with this great character, why change it, why try to neuter it down and make it into something that was never supposed to be, uh, you know, if you make Punisher, if you make Daredevil, and you have the pleasure of creating, bringing these characters to the big screen, or streaming service whatever you should do them right you know I, I the the netflix and punisher shows weren't perfect i thought punisher season one was a little bit of a drag um i thought daredevil season one was a bit of a drag at times but those shows um there's no denying that those shows were trying their best those shows really did the character justice more often than not and you know violence and nudity and cursing it's not a ne it's not necessary in every episode, um, and that's not the point that you have to have it every episode, every second scene. But you, the fact is, it should be there. You should be allowed to do that if you want. Whereas if you have a muzzle on you and you're turning these characters, like turning Kingpin, into a more goofy kind of uh, far-fetched character, compared to the really frightening uh, presence that he was in those. Uh, three seasons of daredevil it's really quite depressing to ruin all that and the whole thing is if you didn't want to do those violent uh representations of these characters you should have recasted you that's the thing if you didn't want to do them right if you didn't want to continue on what people loved about the netflix shows why cast the netflix actors in the shows makes no sense um but I, st I, I sit here today talking about this. I have no problem with changes being made. You know, maybe for legal reasons, they can't completely uh, continue on and do the exact same thing that they did uh, storyline-wise with the Netflix shows. Um, but they own those shows now, apparently. They have those shows in their library, so I don't know. My whole point of this video, I want people to comment below and tell me what they think. Uh... Do you accept or do you will you accept them and will you watch uh, MCU PG-13 version of Daredevil or Punisher or Jessica Jones? Let me know in the comment section and please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you.